want to show you how to take an image of yourself or someone else and put it onto the body of someone, but with a twist. Um, this person is wearing a helmet or a hat um, or some sort of visor where otherwise parts of their head are going to be obscured. So it wouldn't make sense to take this image of just this random dude I found on a stock photo and to attempt to put it onto this uh, um, image of a football player and replace the entire head and helmet because then it wouldn't look realistic because the football player would of course be wearing a helmet in action. So I'm gonna show you how to put the head under the helmet. Um, you're gonna use the lasso tool for this. And of course you're gonna to wanna to zoom in to get a better view um, of the head. Now, nothing that we do for the first part of this needs to be precise. Um, it's gonna be very, very crude and simple. So I'm just gonna use the regular lasso, the free lasso tool for this. And I'm just gonna draw all the way around his head and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to match anything. You could use the magnetic lasso if you wanted to, um, but I'm not going to do that. And then I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna switch over to my other image. Um, now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna name this layer, and we'll call this player. And I'm going to paste my guy, and I'm going to name that one guy. All right. So uh, obviously the sizes are a little off and that's fine. Um, I don't need him right now. So I'm gonna use the move tool and I'm going to move him out of the way. Close this ad and I'm gonna zoom in on the football player's head. Here we go. Now for this, I'm gonna use the lasso tool again and I'm going to draw my selection over top of the cage, basically where his face is of the helmet, cage of the helmet, like so. And then I'm going to use an option um, which is called remove from selection. And you can see that's up here. Now, if you hold the control key, notice how that gets selected up here. Okay, it goes from your regular new selection to remove from selection. And while holding the control key, you can drag over top of and select. Now here is where you are gonna wanna be kind of precise and just select his skin that is showing. Now you might want to zoom in more than I did. Like I am squinting right now and my face is all the way up against my screen and I'm looking kind of silly, but <laughs> um, I'm just going to select where his skin shows through. All right. Not the helmet, just the parts that are, are his face like so. Okay. So now when I copy and paste um, what I just selected, it's just going to be, if I did this right, it's just going to be the parts of the helmet that are not his face. So let's see if this works. Copy and paste. Oops, I messed it up. Let me try that again. Oh, haha, I know what I did wrong. Um, maybe you saw it too, let me undo. Okay, uh, yeah, there's the problem. I was on the wrong layer. I took the time to name the layers, but I didn't go to the right layer, oops. And Pixlr was trying to tell me that when it said nothing in selection. All right, so now I can copy that and paste it. Perfect. And if I use the move tool, notice how, look at that. It's the helmet, but without the face. Okay, so now I'm going to rename that layer and we'll call it helmet, simple enough. And I'm gonna put that on top of my guy layer. I'm gonna move it so that it goes helmet on the top, guy in the middle, Player on the bottom. And I'm gonna go down to where that guy's head is. I'm gonna make sure I'm on that layer and I'm gonna move him. Let me zoom out a little bit here. I'm gonna move him up to where the player's head is. And I'm going to transform that so it's roughly the same size. Let's see. I can use the neck as a guide, I guess. And nice. Okay, now I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna switch back over to the helmet, drag the helmet on top there, and I'm starting to get where I need to be. Now, something you might wanna do before you get into trying to match this up is hide the guy layer and make sure, and this would require some zooming in, make sure that the helmet matches up nicely with the original helmet. And I think I got it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch back to the guy layer. I'm gonna make that visible and I'm gonna drag him over 
So he fits in there. And then from there, and this is really silly, uh, I'm just going to use the eraser. And obviously you, you would want to spend more time on this yourself. This isn't going to look perfect just yet. And I'm just going to erase the parts that are showing um, around the helmet. Just be careful that you don't make your eraser too large. And <laughs> obviously the skin tone doesn't match up very well, but that's another video. But I've got that guy, or you know, you could put your face inside of there. And when you zoom out, it's gonna look pretty good. I might wanna make his head a little bit bigger, but I've, got, I've done that with three layers. And again, all I had to do was make a copy of that helmet and remove parts of the selection. Give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions.